Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another video. Um, today is not a pleasant video because uh, I feel like I got ripped off. Um, a few months back, probably closer to the beginning of the year, uh, somebody messaged me and told me that there was going to be a, uh, let's see here, I think it's 10th, no, it was released in 99, so we're looking at 20th anniversary of Bag of Bones. I think that's correct anyways. Um, that there was going to be a special Scribner's Classics edition. And I was expecting something, I don't know, fancy. I was expecting something limited edition, something a little uh, better than what I received. Um, so this is kind of a warning to people who are planning on getting the book. Because in my opinion... I paid $30 for a five-page interview. That's the biggest difference between the two books. Um, I'm going to go through and show you exactly one of the other. Now, my version of Bag of Bones, the original first edition, is pretty beat up. Um, it's uh, I bought it brand new when it first came. Well, I didn't. My mother did. Um, and we got lovely burnt orange, uh, very autumn color. We got a nice spine here. I'm trying to get the glare down. But we got the white spine, the Scrivener logo. Um, we have somebody's somebody's name in here, which is odd. Uh, I don't know if my mother planned to give this as a gift and didn't give it to her or what, but there's a Joan Hughes in here. Uh, author's note, and anyway, I've gone through all this, and there's absolutely nothing different with the inside except for the five-page interview at the end. Now, if you'll notice, this is something you can't see through the video, but there, if you have a copy of the first edition hardcover, the letters are raised. They're stamped, so you can feel the letters on the cover, right? Okay. Now, now we go to the Scribner Classics edition. For some odd reason, there's this green border around it. I don't know if all the Scribner Classic editions are like this. I have no idea. Um, the letters aren't raised. And this is some of the cheapest paper I have ever come across as for, for a dust jacket. Um, but if you take the dust jacket off, I'm actually worried about taking the dust jacket off because it's so flimsy and thin and it just feels like it's going to rip. You're going to see a very boring white book. Okay. Um, in fact, the, the spine isn't even stylized. It's just plain white. That's it. Um, and the inside, it's again, it's the same, same stuff. Yeah, author's note, it's all the same, except for way back here in the back, I'm going to go through and count the actual pages. I'm pretty sure it was only five, but we're going to count them. Uh, we have uh, Stephen King on Bag of Bones, 1998. We got one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, the seven-page interview. So I only paid $30 for a seven-page interview. Um, there are no... There's, there's no illustrations. Of course, it didn't say it was an illustrated edition, but um, I was expecting something. Uh, now, I, couldn't, I didn't even get a nicer version. See the dents and everything? I didn't even get a nicer version of the book for my shelf because, first off, that green on the cover, I think, is just ugly. They should have done the burnt orange like they did um, with the first edition. But, anyways, uh, this... I don't think the green fits at all. The... <laughs> the spines are just awful. It is just awful compared to the original. You have the nice artwork, and then over here in this one, you just have the Scrivener logo. And I suppose it might be because the Scrivener Classics Edition is like a, a set, and this fits into the set with the green and whatnot. It's just, it's an ugly book. And if you notice, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but first, it was $28.00 this version of it. Now, of course, you have to go for inflation, but this one is $30. I don't know if you guys see it. Sorry. Um, anyways, 
So I'm not happy. I am not the type of completionist collector that has to have every single copy of every single book that the author ever published. I'm not that way. I was hoping for something different, maybe a longer interview, um, but seven pages, man, I just, I, f I feel cheated. There's no other way to put it. And uh, I'm just going to say, shame on you, Scribner, because this is obviously a cash grab. Um, Stephen King had a resurgence um, in popularity, uh, is having one right now as we speak. The last two years has been great for Stephen King fans, and it just seems like this was something to cash in on that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, we had a 10-year anniversary of the book also, so 20 doesn't seem right. It seemed like it should be like the 25th anniversary, but who knows. Let me know down there in the comments below if you got this waste of money. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little salty over this. I apologize. Um, but let me know down there in the comments below if you got a copy of this. Let me know what you think of it. Do you have a copy of the original? I, I, I would imagine this is a good hardcover version for those of you who don't own the original book. I don't know. Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another video Stephen King related. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.